Hi friends, put a finger down if you're going to get drunk and do your makeup on camera again. Uh oh. I put a finger down. <laughs> I just looked it up and it turns out thumbs are technically not fingers. Oopsie whoopsie. It's been a while since I've let my chaotic energy out. I've been really channeling my calming vibes lately. And we're gonna have none of that this evening, none of that. Once upon a time, I did a video where I followed makeup instructions by drunk me. And tonight I'm going to do the reversal of that. So I am going to get drunk and then follow instructions by sober me. I guess there's not much more to say. It's time to start drinking and oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I know that you're here with me right now, POV. We are holding hands while I take shots. That might get difficult. Oh my gosh, by the way, welcome to my apartment. You have not even seen a glimpse of it yet, but here it is. It's the cutest, most charming birdhouse I've ever seen. She's, she has so many issues, but she's so cute. Same. Oh. <laughs> I'm not stalling, you're stalling. Let's see, I guess I will get a shot glass. By the way, I have no pants on. On that note, I'm gonna grab a shot glass, or as I like to call them, miniature cups. I've never called them that. I have to show off these little cups every single time I pull them out because they're tipsy. Do you see how they're slightly tilted? They make me so giddy every single time I see them. But they are missing something, I say as I stroke my beard. I don't even know how to begin to tell you this. My stepdad is letting me have half of his Stolioli vodka. I have goosebumps just thinking about it. For anyone that watches ASMR, I know that you would have been so upset if I didn't just tap on it right now. Don't worry, I got you. Do you know what I mean when I say my tongue is already lifted? <laughs> it's like it's already preparing to throw up a little bit. Just that little, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me cheers you like Gatsby. The way he does it is just so powerful. <laughs> By the way, feel free to grab a beverage of your own so that I can tell myself we're, we're drinking together, but also don't feel pressured to drink. I'm just saying a beverage, which could entail water, juice, You hear that, Robert Pattinson? I'm chasing with pineapple juice. Wow. Okay, 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 okay! It's underrated how scary it is to take your first shot. It's a lot, it's a lot of mental strength. She is so strong. This is a metaphor. The only person that's in the way of my hopes and dreams right now is myself. I'd show you the goosebumps on my legs, but they're not freshly shaved, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> the aftershocks. <laughs> I have goosebumps. Just give me a moment. Just one moment, please. The cold doesn't taste the best, depending on who you ask. My tongue is erect right now. Stop it. Oh, I'm really digging deep right now. If only I had courage. I know what this one's going out to. This one's going out to Midnight Sun. I am so in love with Edward. I have such a crush on him. And I feel like it's almost real for one split second. I forget that he's a paper man. And so throughout the day, I get these little bursts of giddy feelings like, and then I remember and then it dawns on me. So that's a bit upsetting. It's kind of like when you wake up from a really good dream and you're like, Shiver me timbers. It's a poisonous flavor for sure. Two down, maybe two more to go. We're doing it. They said that I couldn't. Mm. Oh, I wish I could dance. It's like, it's so, it's just not correct that I can't dance. I would be such a good dancer if I could dance. It's really toasty woasty in here. I'm focusing so hard. What if we itched our faces like dogs where all of a sudden my foot just came into frame and was like, I didn't even 
didn't, that wasn't a real hiccup. I just thought about a hiccup and then I did that. I have a mirror right over yonder and when I look in it, it's that look of where am I? Who am I? Where is this night gonna go? I'm having trouble seeing properly. All right, all right, all right. Should I just like take my next one? Stop. I want to take this one. Oh my gosh, how are you even drunk? I drink 10 times the amount that you did and I'm not even tipsy. Here's a concept. We're different people. Come on, Michaela, take at least four more. Michaela, drink the rest of the bottle. <laughs> I've gone to the hospital once. I'm not going back again. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I forgot what I was saying, honestly. <laughs> I think I'm ready to proceed with caution. By the way, I recorded this audio back in May. Here we go. This bitch. Hey, you little goblin. <laughs> you drunk little creature. I hope you are thriving. This is Sober You, by the way. I need you to grab your beauty blender and wet it. Don't forget to wet it. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. It's me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I lost my place in the recording. I have to play the whole thing over again. Hey, you little goblin. <laughs> now grab your foundation, squirt it onto your hand, grab your wet beauty blender, and begin to blend out the beauty. <laughs> Despite me bouncing this foundation onto my face, I'm still seeing the redness of the alcohol flat... <laughs> alcohol hot flashes. What's next? For this next step, I actually need you to grab your hand mirror and I need you to look in the mirror and dig deep and ask yourself, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the drunkest of them all? <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the drunkest of them all? Tis I. Let's move full speed ahead to translucent powder. Go ahead and pretty much add this everywhere except for where you would add blush. Okay, for this, I'm going to grab my non-wet beauty blender. Who else does this? I always use a dry beauty blender for my dry ingredients and a wet uh, beauty blender for my wet ingredients. What were, my, what were my directions everywhere except for where I would put my blush? The makes sense to me, probably because I'm the one that gave the instructions. I I like to put translucent powder everywhere that I crease, but I crease almost across my whole face because I have an animated face, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's marbles in my mouth, like I'm suddenly struggling to get the words out and I'm fighting against something in my mouth. Probably the marbles. <laughs> probably the marbles. <laughs> I can... There's a little part of my brain that is like still sober that can hear my voice right now. And it's like, oh girl, reel it in. But I can't, I can't. Now take your tanner powder and add that everywhere you would add blush and bronzer and contour. The audacity of me to call this tan powder, tan powder, right. This looks like it's milk. At this point, you should look like a dusty pancake. If you look like a corpse, you've gone too far. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're now going to swerve away from the face for a while and focus on the eyes, specifically the caterpillars that live on your face, your eyebrows. Oh, shoot. Stop that. Kind of overplucked this round. Don't tell anyone, but I got a little eager with the with the pluckers. Grab the translucent powder again and let it snow right below your eyeballs. This should hopefully pick up any fallout. And for your eyeshadow, I think it would make sense under the circumstances of your motor functions glitching and buffering right now that I play things safe. Yes. Which is precisely why we're gonna play it dangerously and do a smoky eye look. Where was I? Oh crap. Where was I? Oh, a smoky eye. Gosh darn it. Then again, name a more powerful duo than alcohol and black eyeshadow. You can't. Hello? Whoa. This doesn't look half bad. It looks three quarters bad. This looks too good 
for a drunk person. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I know we're all thinking it. Are you sure about that? I like how this looks in this current moment. I know I'm in a different mental state than usual, but I like it. Hello? It's a fluffy bush. I'm gonna fluff it out with some some black eyes out. No, it's honestly, it's a little patchy watchy. But if I stay back here, well, that's the look. Now that you are one with the raccoons, I think you and I both know I need some sort of pop of color. And I am going to let you decide what color you are going to pop in your inner corners. <laughs> All I ask is that whatever color you choose, you make it shiny. Because we're raccoons after all, we <laughs> like shiny things. I was perfectly content with what I had going on, but now I have to pick a color to put in my inner corners. Should I do a hot pink? Oh gosh, I just got so hungry. Which means it's time for pink eyeshadow. I feel like this palette always makes an appearance at times like these. Oh my gosh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Oh no, I look like the Joker. Okay, but genuinely. I don't want to look at the camera any longer. I mean, it was bound to come to this sooner or later, so I guess I will welcome it. Hello? 10 out of 10, I look like a spider that would eat my husband and all of my children. Oh, that's right, I'm supposed to make it shiny. That will save this look, I'm sure. Um, I'm just going to use my highlighter. Oh yeah, that really saved it. Spin around in your seat three times. This is very important. <laughs> okay, now I'm just setting myself up for failure. Spin around in my seat three times, okay. One, two, Coat your eyelashes in several layers of mascara until they look like spider legs. When out, when mascara lands on your eyelid, you say thank you. And since they're never quite spider leggy enough, also put on some fake lashes. Of course, that makes sense. I don't know, do I wear my fake eyelashes? Oh, <gasps> oops. Um, yeah, there's some fake eyelashes right in here. <gasps> what the heck? was on my floor. Just a couple of spare eyelashes. Did they fall off of my eyes? No, those are still there. Now that's a smoke show if I've ever seen one. Good news, it's time for blush. You already know the drill. Grab several blushes and go to town. I do already know the drill. This is ingrained into my cells, I'm pretty sure. I think I could do my blush in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that champagne pop and pop that pussy. And now to make an exclamation point right on my nose. <laughs> do you remember a few steps ago when I had you choose your own color for the inner corners? I do. Whatever color you chose is going to be your lip color. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yippee! I've got the goods. I found them. Okay. <sighs> Let's finish what we've started. Intense this is. 
And quick before you do anything else, lock it into place with some setting spray, lock it up and throw away the key. I don't have any setting spray right now. I don't know how to follow the rules. I don't have any. I have, I have hairspray. <laughs> reasons I'm gonna do the rest of my video from all the way back here. It just looks like I enrolled in Monster High. Needless to say I might have just found my new everyday look. And voila my masterpiece is complete. 10 out of 10 I would hype you up in the bathroom if I were also drunk. Actually drunk or not drunk I would hype you up in the bathroom. May all your dreams come true drunk me. Don't text anyone I wouldn't text. Bye. On that note here is all the love just for you.